It's not personal, it's business. How many times have we all heard that phrase throughout our careers? For the longest time, business success has gone hand in hand with a certain degree of toughness and ambition. After all, you've got competition to worry about, revenue goals to hit, and in many cases, investors to answer to. On the turn of a dime, business can become cutthroat. You need to build walls to keep your company secret safe, because if you don't, you lose and your competitors win. Even within organizations, there is a tendency to separate processes and people and silo data and keep people in one lane or another. But what if there was an alternative? We don't have like, oh, only this group knows this. We share everything. That's Kim Huffman, the VP of Global IT at the search company Elastic. Its products serve a global audience, making data usable at scale for organizations like Cisco, eBay, Goldman Sachs, Microsoft, the Mayo Clinic, the New York Times, and even NASA. While most businesses keep a tight lid on their business by employing an aggressive and impersonal approach, at Elastic, everything is out in the open. With a distributed workforce and an open source mentality, Elastic is giving everyone access to the most precious resource currently available. If you think about the landscape of technology, data is like the new oil. But scarcity creates value. So when everyone has access to something valuable, is it still worth as much as we think? When everyone can win, does anyone really win? And with so much out in the open, how is it that Elastic is continuing to innovate in new ways and stay way ahead of the curve. I'm Jeremy Bergeron, and this is Business X Factors. Each week, we'll take a look at the secret sauce, the X Factor that takes companies to the highest levels of success and how they actually got there. We'll explore how these organizations are run and what's so special about the people, the process, and the cultures that make it all happen. What is technology for? Our friends at Highland believe technology is for transforming the way you work, for delivering complete information when and where you need it, so you can be more agile, more empowered, more connected through each interaction and in every relationship. Highland believes in technology thoughtfully designed to create better customer experiences. Highland is your X factor for better performance. Go to highland.com forward slash insights to learn more. That's H-Y-L-A-N-D dot com slash insights. Long before Kim joined the team at Elastic, she was an IT leader trying to solve problems for a multitude of businesses. How did she solve these problems? Through data. Because in business, data is like oxygen. You breathe in the informational data around the problem you're trying to solve and breathe out the database solutions you need to succeed. That's how Kim ultimately stumbled upon Elastic. She was using Elastic's product to do her job. It was brought to my attention from one of our engineering team members on my previous company. And we used it in a very unique use case. And it sort of intrigued me that there was this product and it was like, hey, I think we can solve it with this. And I was like, wow, that's cool. Using Elastic's products in a completely unique way isn't all that uncommon. Elastic offers really powerful search tools, platforms, and plugins along with some really nifty security enhancements and optimized metrics so that companies can get the most out of their search activities. But companies and organizations need search data for a whole variety of reasons. Let's say you're Walmart, for example, and you wanna protect your customers from gift card scams. To do that, you need a way to ingest and measure billions of metadata records for years on end. 
So what would Walmart most likely use? Elastic. Another example comes from a major phone company when it rolled out a brand new customer service app. The company needed a smart and easy way to measure the quality of user experience on the app and then adjust it as needed. Elastic made that possible. Kim saw that Elastic products were built to offer legitimate flexibility, and she was very impressed. This was a company that was focused on data as a company asset and the proliferation of data across organizations and bringing solutions that sped up the ability to search, observe, whatever a company needed to do with that data. And how it was being used was especially exciting. Customers like Airbnb to federal government to Tinder. I mean, it's all over the map. It's kind of exciting to have that breadth of a customer base. But there was more to the Elastic story than just its products. How it developed its solutions was just as intriguing to Kim as anything else. Elastic is distributed by design and was built on the belief that open source was the way of the future. Anyone, anywhere could build on Elastic, making data and solutions available in ways Kim had never seen before. In fact, the entire company mindset was something completely new to Kim. Tell me about the culture. Like now that you were on the outside looking in as a user, yeah. now on the inside yeah. looking out. Like tell me about the culture. Yeah. I mean, it starts with the source code. You know, companies have mission and values. We have our source code because we're a technology company. Part of our source code is progress, not perfection, mm. uh, or progress, simple perfection, and speed scale relevance. So it's not all about doing the right thing. It's about trying things. It's about being humble and ambitious. Because you can be humble and you can be ambitious, but really it's about being humbly ambitious, right? And so as you dig into them, you see that there are ways to apply them, how we treat coworkers, how we treat other employees, how we approach projects. It's a very interesting culture. It's a very empathetic culture. I actually looked at this source code, which serves as the company's handbook or value set. And it does paint the picture of a very empathetic and inclusive culture. Things like being home for dinner, allowing space and time to dream, solving complicated problems, and accepting cross-language, cross-cultural communication as the norm are just some of the values included. Even now, with well over 2,000 employees, Elastic continues to embrace a global and distributed workforce. We have an office in Mountain View. We have an office in New York, okay. London, and Amsterdam. But I would say like 80 to 90% are distributed. I mean, we're in 40 countries. And mm -hmm. so to me, it feels like there's a little bit of that sort of like international interest that I had that has been infused into this role, which is why I, I was interested in it. Global distribution, open source, and being on the cutting edge of what data search, analytics, and security can do. All of that sounds pretty appealing, right? That's what Kim thought and why she ultimately took the job with Elastic. But once Kim got on board, she was let in on the true inner workings of Elastic. And it turns out that living up to these values is much harder than it looks, especially when markets and the world change at a breathtaking pace. Decades before Kim joined the Elastic team, its founders were working in different countries, building a company and a search engine that would allow others to view the code they were using and adopt it however they wished. The first search engine was called Elastic Search. And spoiler alert, people loved it. Elastic Search kept being enhanced, and Elastic built more and more open source products to add to its portfolio. And to meet the needs of the users and companies that were actually employing the newest tech wherever they could. As the tech advanced, the Elastic team hustled to keep up, adding more plugins, adding extensions, and even creating an Elastic Cloud service. But with each update, there was always a bug or a fix that needed to be made. That's par for the course, though. And Elastic aims to find those bugs way before products hit the market. So at Elastic, the entire team does beta testing and everyone provides feedback that gets incorporated into the final product. I think just the nature of our genesis has been involvement, 
get feedback, involvement, get feedback. And so it sort of started in our roots. If you've had any experience with products or customer service, then you already know getting in front of negative feedback and fixing problems before your customers stumble onto them is super important for building brand trust. So Elastic started a new internal initiative. We use most all of our products internally. We call it Elastic on Elastic. So we roll out all the products. And so we usually are in the beta mode or pre-GA of products before they even go GA. And so we also sometimes will find issues and get those back up to the product team. And and for mature products, we're like, yeah, it would be good to add this feature or take this feature out. Or have you thought about this? And so, because we're really like internal users of our products that are targeted to IT teams or IT functions. And so We have a product called Workplace Search, which is targeted for IT leaders, and it basically allows you or a company to take all the content from a number of different sources and applies our search to it. And it's fabulous because if you've got Slack, Gmail, Wiki, GitHub, and you want to search it for X, Y, or Z, it's very fast and it does it all. So we rolled that out internally. And as we were rolling it out, we were finding some connector issues with this or that. And so we were just sharing that with the the product team. And because when we roll it out to our customers, we don't want them to have the same experience. As part of that feedback loop, they revved in some of the changes into the product release process, which made it better. But asking and receiving feedback, especially between teams, is tricky. And it's a practice that requires a lot of trust and goodwill among colleagues. It's a long-term priority and one that always has to start at the top. I'm curious about if that trust is talked about, if you notice it consciously, subconsciously, talk about that trust amongst the leadership team. I I think it's like any relationship, right? Like it's built over time. I think the trust on the leadership team is being open about how we feel about things. Like we address problem areas and we don't sugarcoat things. You know, if there's a problem, let's raise it as a problem and figure out how we can tackle it. I came in, I'm like, Hey guys, we had a big miss or we have a lot of problems and saying, this is the way I'm going to address fixing them. That shows you're open, you're kind of exposed and realizing like, Oh, okay. Yeah. She's going to address them. That is hard initially, but once you do it and you realize like everyone's supportive, like how can I help you achieve whatever goals you're trying to that's where that trust is built, right? And and part of it's just being honest with with people. It's like, hey, we got problems, you know, and it's going to take us a while to fix them. I appreciate your patience. This is the plan. This is what we're doing. And I think when people come in initially on the leadership team, they're like, wow, like people are really honest here. But then they see there's no repercussions of, of that honesty. I've been on some E-teams and there's this sort of like functional focus and backstabbing and we don't have that. Like we all feel like we're in it for the organizational goal. And it's this trust and openness that acts as the glue, the glue that keeps the entire Elastic team across 40 countries on the same page, yet still allows them to express their own individuality. In more traditional companies or work environments, there are rules and expectations that are meant to create cohesion. That may mean adhering to a particular dress code or time zone, living in a certain area, or even speaking a certain language. All of this is to encourage uniformity and unity. It's a company first and individual second mentality. Elastic chose to do the exact opposite. Got the right skills, but live in a different country? Elastic will figure it out. What about your communication style? Introverted? Extroverted? A bit of both? Elastic welcomes you. Diversity is a buzzword in most organizations, but Elastic leaned into it as another form of the distribution mindset that allows the company to learn and grow faster. The fact that we're distributed is very exciting. It affords us the capability to have diverse thought in everything we do. And it's not just diverse thought from a gender perspective. It's also diverse thought from a country of origin perspective or language It gives our team diverse thought in in how we approach things. I think it also requires us to really focus on how we communicate with each other because we're not always in the same room. We work 
very much over Zoom or via asynchronous communications or other collaboration tools that we have. So we have to be articulate and clear and concise in our thinking because we do a lot of documentation and sharing amongst ourselves. Distribution, openness, and honesty. These were tough virtues to build into the elastic mode of operations. But could the company stand firm under real outside pressure? After the break, you'll learn how Kim and the Elastic Leadership Team built a resilient business and workforce that thrives under high stakes situations and how that mentality helped them do something pretty epic. Stay with us. When I need help, I want someone who understands where I am now and where I'm coming from, but with a broader perspective. The folks at Highland are like that. Highland is a true partner to more than half of Fortune 100 companies, a partner that understands your industry and offers expertly tailored solutions that evolve with you. With Highland, you gain a complete view of information across your organization, along with the agility to compete at the top of your game and deliver better customer experiences. Highland is your X factor for better performance. Go to highland.com forward slash insights to learn more. That's H-Y-L-A-N-D dot com slash insights. With a name like Elastic, you'd think that flexibility is second nature. And it is for the most part but you can't prepare for everything. So when the outside world throws you a huge curveball like it did in 2020, you've got to be on your toes and ready to make a move. When the world says jump, Elastic says, how high? We got to get the incident response team. Leah and I, who's the VP of HR, are on the phone and we're like, okay, what can we do? We need to make sure people that were in the office, that used to work in an office, have the right workstations, the tools, the desks, the chairs, like how can we make sure we get them everything they need as soon as possible? How can we do that? Do we want to set up different communication channels to help with communications? What kind of collaboration tools do we need? As a company that was already highly distributed, adjusting its tech and operations around new working conditions was fairly simple. But as it turns out, that was only a small piece of the puzzle. Kim and the Elastic Leadership Team knew that if the business was going to withstand anything the world threw at it, there was more to it than just providing the right tools. Success is built on a foundation much stronger than that. As a company, you know, resiliency is not just about the business resilience, it's about the the people's resilience. You can't have a resilient business without resilient employees and people that are working in that business, right? And so, you know, it is derived from or maps very closely to how resilient are the people within the organization and how agile and flexible are they comfortable being. Elastic talked a good game and it had a solid team and tools, but the world has a way of exposing your flaws. And 2020 did just that for Elastic. We were agile. But we weren't embracing it as much as I think we could have. And so one of the things that we've done over the last couple of months is saying, how are we going to double down on this? We saw like some pretty key benefits during this time in operating, and we want to double down on it now. And we want to roll it out across the entire technology organization and see if we can get those benefits elsewhere. During this time, we made sure people felt like they knew what was going on, what was going to happen. What was our stance on things? Over-communicating what we were doing. We'd always done that as a company, but during this time, we did it more. And I think we'll continue to do that. Our leader, Shai, speaks a lot about the resilience of the organization. And he has been very open and transparent. That's how the company has been since I joined. We don't have like, oh, only this group knows this. We share everything. Mm. And during this time, he shares a lot of personal perspectives about his feelings, focusing on empathy and employees' morale. He had done that before. He did that even more during this last year. That was something that people have responded really well to. And I think he will continue to do that. And, you know, I think focusing on empathy and employees' morale 
again, getting back to the people part of that resilience, I think is important. Elastic doubled down on its open source communication and trust pillars. It has leaned into the idea of having hard conversations to build the type of resilient workforce that knows the company can and will take on whatever it comes up against. We have company-wide Ask Me Anythings every month. And anyone can ask any question they want. Unfiltered. We don't review them ahead of time and make sure they're okay and they're PC. So we kept those going. And there were some pretty directed questions about, you know, what's our stance on BLM? And we have an elastic BLM day. We have ERGs. But not shying away from, I think, those difficult discussions feels like we're all in this together and that we care about anyone's opinions and we're going to address them. We try and respond quickly and we try and do the the right thing. There are always lessons to be learned from facing problems head on. In doing so, you can very quickly identify and address problems. But these discussions in this type of culture also exposes where your company thrives. Elastic has always thrived on data. From how its products gather and analyze data to how it relies on internal and external feedback to improve. The open source nature of Elastic is the thing that has made it so successful. And so Elastic is leaning into that now more than ever. Even when competitors like Amazon Web Services tries to take advantage and tries to market their own search product with Elastic's trademark. That's a story for another day. But here's what you need to know. Elastic has seen the world benefit from its open source technology in tremendous ways. So much so that it outweighs any of the disadvantages of giving away the oil of the 21st century. I continue to be amazed. I mean, there was a post on LinkedIn last week about the Mars rover and our product was involved in that, right? Elastic was involved in that. And John Hopkins was like the the big one with the COVID when it first hit. You you see the the dashboards and you're like, wow, I think that's our dashboard. (laughs) You know, you can kind of see it. So the only limit is to what is what people think of right? How they want to use the product. So that's exciting. You may hear the phrase, it's not personal, it's business until the end of time. But it's good to remember that business isn't always a zero sum game. Working together in a collaborative manner can oftentimes expand the pie and provide much greater opportunity for everyone involved. The power of many is so much greater than the power of a few. Elastic recognized the weight of the power and leaned into it by creating open source code that anyone can access. And those same people who can access it can improve it too. These solutions that live in the source code are brought to the table because Elastic has created an environment and a technical asset that actually encourages collaboration, connection, and openness. The business is not built on one idea or a bit of proprietary technology. Elastic's business is not winner takes all. Let's all win together. And that's why it's been so successful. That is the X factor that has allowed Elastic to scale into a global company that has even had an impact beyond this globe. After all, if its products are being used on Mars, it must be doing something right. Business X Factors is brought to you by our friends at Highland. For over a decade, Highland has been named a leader in the Gartner Magic Quadrant for content services platforms, leading the way to help people get the information they need when and where they need it. More than half of the 2019 Fortune 100 companies rely on Highland to help them create more meaningful connections with the people they serve. When your focus is on the people you serve, Highland stands behind you. Highland is your X factor for better performance. Go to highland.com forward slash insights to learn more. That's H-Y-L-A-N-D dot com slash insights. You've been listening to Business X Factors brought to you by Highland. 
If you like this show, please subscribe and follow on your favorite podcast app. We'd also be so grateful if you rated and reviewed us on Apple Podcasts. This ensures that more listeners find this show. Thank you so much for listening. I'm Jeremy Bergeron, and I'll definitely catch you next time on Business X Factors.